sometimes ask questions about your mission? Did you have to cover your eye with one hand and read some alphabets? Does this special eye chart look familiar? Eye chart generally have rows of alphabets. The row at the top has super large letters, while the row at the bottom has super tiny ones. But what is the connection between knowing your alphabets and wearing glasses? All the lines on the chart have individual numbers. During the eye exam, you're asked to read the letter in every line until they become too tiny for you to clearly understand. People with a vision of 2200 can just see a big letter at the uppermost part of the eye chart. They are regarded as legally blind. A 2020 vision, however, means that your eyesight is pretty good. It indicates that you can read 920 from 20 feet. No vision aids like glasses are required for you to see better if you have a 2020 vision. Ah, glasses. Many people wear them, but have you ever wondered why? Some wear them to see things far away, like when driving or reading posters at a distance. Others may use them for viewing detailed objects closer to them, like when reading, using devices, or crocheting. Some people even wear them all day long. Some people have trouble seeing things that are far away from them. They have nearsightedness, which is also called as myopia. My O Pia. Pronounce with me. My O Pia. While they can see things closer to them, they have trouble seeing objects that are far away. Things that are far away can appear blurry to them. Now, here's the scientific reason why nearsightedness occurs. So, here's your eye. When you see an object, light is reflected off the object for you to be able to see it. In an eye that doesn't need glasses and is perfectly focused, the light that enters the eye bends in a way that is focused at the thin layer of tissue at the back of the eye, called the retina. In a person who is nearsighted or myopic, the size of the eye is bigger. As a result of this, the light is focused in front of the retina. The light is not focused when it reaches the retina and so the vision ends up being fuzzy. But what about people who have trouble reading or seeing things that are close to them? They have hyperopia, which is also known as, you may have guessed it, farsightedness. This happens when the light is focused to create a visual image behind the retina. A person may be farsighted if they have a smaller eyeball or weak ability to focus. Astigmatism is another condition that can cause people to wear glasses. Let's go. A stick ma tism. Once more, a stick ma tism. In this condition, the eye is misshapen. As a result, the light is not able to focus at one point. Hyperopia, astigmatism, and myopia patients wear specs or contact lenses to improve their eyesight. But how do these machine aids actually work? Wear aids use different types of lenses, specifically concave or convex lenses that bend the light. Glasses and contact lenses use these lenses to focus the light on the bright spot of the retina so the person can see clearly. So some people wear glasses so they can see better. But some people wear glasses not for vision aid but because they are stylish and trendy. They have glasses with plano lenses which have no effect. So now we know why some people wear glasses. What is the next thing you'd like to know? How do we breathe? Why are leaves green? How do we move our limbs? Do centipedes have hundred legs? Explore the world of science with us. Make sure to like, subscribe and share. Bye-bye.